You've used object storage before, but what if you could do more than just store files? What if you could power fully managed, versioned and queryable tables all in the same place? That's exactly what Cloudflare R2 Data Log delivers. And best of all, it comes with zero egress fees, meaning that your data is always accessible without extra charges. Apache Iceberg is an open table format for analyzing large data sets in object storage. It brings features like ACID transactions, time travel, and schema evolution to files stored in formats like Parquet or ORLC. Traditional data leaks are fast and cheap, but they lack reliability. Without a metadata layer, data sets can become corrupted or require expensive full table scans. Iceberg solves this by adding structure and enabling consistent reads and writes. Think of a data catalog like a library index system. It doesn't store the data itself, but it tells you exactly where everything is, how it's structured and how it's changed over time. For Iceberg, the catalog is essential. It tracks schema changes, organizes tables and connects everything to your compute engine. And that's where R2 Data Log comes in. It exposes a standard Apache Iceberg REST catalog interface so you can connect to engines that you're already familiar with like Spark, Trino, or Pi Iceberg. And because it's built directly into your R2 buckets, you get all the benefits of a managed catalog with none of the egress fees. Now let's quickly set up your first Iceberg in R2. First, enable the data catalog on your R2 bucket. You can either do this directly on the dashboard by clicking on enable here or by using Wrangler. Then you need to generate an API token and ensure that it has read and write access. So I'll go over here to where I can create API tokens for my R2 bucket and then select admin read and write. Now let's jump into a Python notebook. We are using Marimo here and we're connecting to Pi Iceberg. Here's what the code looks like. We're installing libraries that we're using like Pandas, Pi Arrow, and also setting up the data log connection with our R2 bucket. So we have here the warehouse, the token that was generated and the catalog URL. After doing that, we essentially create a namespace called default and we set up a table, a sample table with data as shown on the screen. Now to test that we can run our notebook by using the command marimo run the name of the notebook. Once the script runs, your data is written into an iceberg table. Now go to your Cloudflare dashboard and navigate to the R2 bucket that you're using. For me, I'm using this one called employee images. Now I can see a new directory that was created with the name of my catalog. If I check there, you see some data, specifically the data folder, the metadata folder. And within the data folder, we have some parquet folder, meaning that our data has been written into the catalog. And in case you're wondering, yes, you can also use tools you already know, like Snowflake. Here's how to connect and query data stored in your R2 data catalog. First, you need to make sure that you already have a Snowflake account with privileges that allows you to create external volumes or catalog integrations. I already have that. And now in my Snowflake worksheet, I have written out the following code, SQL code. So what I'm doing essentially is creating a database and then i am also adding some credentials so for example the bucket name the access key that was generated when i created my api token and a few other things now i've gone ahead to add all the credentials that is required and also i ran the worksheets as you can see here this r2 example database was created and in there i have a table called my iceberg table which i specified here i can go ahead and query the data and view them but note that this is read only so this is currently what's within my database it's essentially the same that i had in the python notebook 
how to data catalog is in open beta with no extra costs beyond the standard r2 storage and operational fees if you're new to apache iceberg or analytics ready data this is the perfect place to get started it's reliable standards based and works with the tools that you already use go on and check out the documentation listed in the description box below we can't wait to see what you build with this